Here is a Windows version of their scatter plot of assignment against exam marks. Uh, so this is the spreadsheet here with the data that we want to uh, create the scatter plot for. So let's um, select both of those columns. That will be our data for the plot. Then we'll go to insert and charts and we'll go for a scatter plot. So there you go, that looks pretty good already. Um, just move that to the new sheet. It's a bit easier to look at there. There we go. Uh, so that's pretty, pretty nice already. It's just lacking a couple of things. We should have uh, some labels on the axes, for example. Uh, if we look at the quick layout options here, notice that if we choose this first layout, that looks quite good. It's got access titles, it's got a graph title. So we'll choose that one. Uh, all that's left to uh, improve this is to, uh, let's see, we can put on the, whoops, putting them in the wrong place. We can edit the title of the graph, so assignment versus exam marks, like that. Uh, oh. This belt assignment, there we go. Assignment versus exam marks, let's say. Uh, what else? We could perhaps remove those uh, grid lines just by clicking on them and pressing delete. Uh, we should probably do something about the axis title. So this is going to be, so we need to know which variable is on which axis. So exam marks can go there. Um, these are really tiny fonts too, aren't they? So we really should do something with that. So I'm going to right click on that and we'll go to font and 10. Yeah, clearly we need it bigger than 10, don't we? So uh, let's go try 16, see how that looks. That's a bit more legible. We can do the same to the axis font as well. So change the font to 16. Yeah, that's better. Um, same for the title, that could be a bit bigger, perhaps, 18. Uh, and now this horizontal axis, uh, it has the font issue. Notice also it goes up to 120, which doesn't really make sense. So this axis title here should be assignment marks. And if we right click on there to get the font, we can change that to, what were we doing, 16, wasn't it? And the same for this axis. So we'll right click on that axis to get font to size 18. And we can also look over here for the format axis options. Uh, and we want to max this axis out at 100. It doesn't make any sense to have it going up to 120. So we've got the axis options here. Let's look under the graph options and what we're searching around for is something like this where it's got the minimum and the maximum. So its maximum is 1.2 which is 120% obviously so we just want that to be 1.0 and there we go that looks better doesn't it? And what else? Finally, we don't really need this legend over here, so I'll just click on that and delete it. And there we have a fairly nice scatter plot of assignment versus exam marks.